Howdy everybody. My name is Buck Rogers. My pronouns are he haw. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is not working, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not Buck Rogers, I apologize. Um, but I do have a holster. I don't really understand what this thing is. Like, is it a gun? Pager? Oh look, my, my grandmother called, but she's, she's dead. Or is it a club? Ow! Oh no, oh, my head is made of steel. Not like Superman. Well, it's fun to check emails on. But, speaking of stupid people, I'm a meat expert. And I deal with customers every day. My god, these bikes are broke. <laughs> and, uh, so I was trying to serve my meat to this one lady. And she's just like, I want meat, I want purple, do you have purple meat? And I'm like, no, sorry lady. I do not have purple meat. I need purple meat for my beet salad! They're all Italians. All Italian grandmothers. I'm like, I'm sorry lady, I, don't, I do not have purple meat for your beet salad. And she's like, what are you, what are you talking about? This, this is the only thing I need. I just need, how, God, why do you not have purple meat? I, I've gone to six different stores and they all serve me purple meat. Your store cannot serve me purple meat. I'm sorry, but we just, we don't have that item. Oh my God, why do people always believe that we have like these most ridiculous items. Like I remember when I was a grocer, someone asked me if we had pickled onions in brie. Yeah. Have you even seen that? I, I don't know what store she's going to. I mean, I, honestly, I, I would like to help everyone that wants an item that we don't have. I, I wanted to yell at this lady. I'm like, I'm sorry lady, we don't have purple meat, we don't have orange meat, we don't have green meat, we don't have pulsing meat, we don't have bloody meat. We just have regular meat. Funny story about uh, bloody meat. So there was this guy, he goes up to me, and he's like, I would like um, some bloody meat for my, for my bloody steak. And I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, man. All of our, all of our meat is secreted. So, yeah. Anyway, another, another crazy uh, customer story is uh, ladders. So in the States, you can really sue anyone for, for anything. So this guy, he, uh, he puts his ladder on this very like hardened shit. And it was sunny that day. So the ladder sinks into the shit. And he falls off the ladder company. Oh, fuck. And he falls off the ladder. So he sues the ladder company for creating shitty ladders. <laughs> Uh, all right, what else I got? All right, um, so uh, I was trying to buy some board shorts a long time ago when I was like 14, and I, I never understood these things. Like, uh, to me, you know, a bathing suit has like that trap, right? You know, like hold your junk. So I like, I go up to the guy and I'm just like, look, I want some board shorts. Um, and he tries to sell me them. And I'm like, but they have, you know, that, that trap, right? He's like, no. I'm like, so it just all hangs, you know, when you're going swimming? Like, that's uncomfortable. It's like, no, you, you wear box shorts. You go swimming in your underwear? Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to say that uh, with uh, Luke's whole thing about uh, coming in as f fathers and mothers, um, I just hope all of you come back. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. Yeah. laughs>